Well, an investigation by the group that oversees high school sports is taking place after allegations of racism taunted took place at a high school softball game this week. 12 News' Gary Burton is live at the Mississippi High School Activities Association with more. Gary? In Tuesday's softball playoff matchup, the Hernando Tigers hosted the Madison Central Jaguars. And after the game, the mother of a Madison Central player posted on Facebook that her daughter had experienced racial slurs from a group of Hernando fans. Madison Central and Hernando High School were in game two of a three-game series played in DeSoto County when alleged reports of racial taunting, vulgar language, and more inappropriate behavior took place during the game. Sadly to say, I'm not shocked because of the times we live in. I'm greatly disappointed. It's behavior that should not and will not be tolerated. There's no place for it. Uh, in our schools or in our society. Ricky Neves, executive director of the Mississippi High School Activities Association, says this incident was reported to have happened in the outfield, and eventually hecklers were ordered to move from that section by Hernando and Madison Central's principals. Neves says the investigation that's taken place is still ongoing to determine all involved. It was probably anywhere from 50 to 100 people. And when the investigation is complete, punishment usually depends on the school's handbook. That can be anything from a suspension from school, in-school suspension, and for adults, uh, there are times when they have been told that they could not attend another MS, MHSAA event for the course of a year. Neve says multiple Madison Central parents have reached out about the incident, and he appreciates that. Unless people let us know, we don't know. And uh, that helps spur the investigation. And the Madison County School District released a statement. It says, quote, the athletic programs of Madison County Schools promotes good sportsmanship and respect for all students. The incident is under investigation by DeSoto County Schools, and we are confident that the matter will be addressed appropriately. And I've reached out to DeSoto County Schools for comment, but have yet to receive a call back. Reporting live in Clinton, I'm Gary Burton, 12 News.